about Spud? How was your week off? Well, Tom, yeah, yeah, it was grand, yeah. I got, uh, I got into bonsai making. Bonsai. Right, so are you uh, no, uh, the karate kids, uh, dudes, the old Mr. Senpai? Maggie. There's a, the there's a lovely thing. guy on uh, there's a lovely guy on YouTube. What's his name? Hen Henai Hensai. He's an English a Japanese Englishman, okay. and he has this uh, incredibly posh English accent. But he's quite obviously an old Japanese man. Right. So you hear this like rather posh doo -doo 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 -doo, I don't know, kind of English accent coming out of this Japanese fella, and uh, his tutorial videos are just amazing. Like he's just right. like oh, I could watch these all day. It's just a fella going. It's funny, it's one of those uh, kind of uh, interesting hobbies, I suppose, that you think, yeah, but you just like cut bits of trees off. But I'm sure there's a million things involved in it. Like, you know. No, no, really. That, that's what right, it is, isn't right. it? Just, it's, it's, you take a tree yeah. and you shape it into something and then you, you wait 20 years and hopefully it turns out how you want it to. No, well, you do need shaping and stuff and like then, that. And then in the third one, you break it and you have to kind of care for it. <laughs> like, it's great, yeah. yeah. So I went yeah. off and bought bonsai stuff. And, but it's not bonsai. Bonsai is just a... Uh, uh, it's it's not it's not a plant. It's not a tree. It's not a shrub. Oh, it's right. just, okay. It's the the form that 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 you, it's what am I trying to say? What are yeah, words? No, word? yeah, it's, it's, the, the, it's the way the, you grow. The process. It's the way you grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, oh, right. So it's not like so you could <clears throat> use like a dragon's plant or uh, I don't know rosemary. Well, it has bush. to be a tree. Well, dragon's blood is a tree. Is a tree where rosemary yeah. isn't though? I know no, that. That's I know. a hard. Second one, second yeah. one. Uh, it kind of fell, uh, fell off the cart. as the second example. No, but you can use, you can use like you know, the, just like you know, Christmas tree trees, you know, like, like uh, pine firs tree. and pines mm. and stuff like that. Like mm. absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently, they they, they use them a lot because they grow really, really quickly. Like an oak tree, you know, it takes fifty years to grow thirty centimeters, kind of thing. Well, it depends right. on the one, but like, you know, there's no point in using a fucking, fucking California redwood around and like just. <laughs> go through yeah. your ceiling after being inside for six fucking minutes like yeah. um, maples are another one yeah it's great so like I'm I'm kind of running out of window space for them at the minute so are you going to I sell them or are you just going to force them on everyone who comes to your house here have a bonsai <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yours yeah. now I'll do the thing because yeah, I'm, I'm running out of like yeah I've, I've already like ran dry and like fuck I already gave them something I made with the carpentry so I'm running out now what to do bonsai that's what I'll do I'll make them a bonsai because like who would ever say no to a bonsai like it's just wow that's mad they incorporate the two and, and make the, the pots as well for your woodwork I uh, wooden pots though, man. Well, you suppose you make the pot and then you put the timber around the pot. Ah, that's next year's idea. <laughs> right. Tommy, you're just amazing. I love you, man. You're the oracle of fucking my life. Do you know? I always well, give great wisdom and stuff. I should, well, slip, well, in, I should slip in things into the, that I would. You know, maybe learn how to make some teaks or Wacom tablets. Or <laughs> <laughs> a wooden Wacom tablet. A what? You know, the drawn tablets. At, uh, a drawn tablet. Yeah, but yeah. she have like a million. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'm I also bought a new one yesterday. So. <laughs> yeah, for Jesus' sake. Why is this for your other hand, is it? So no, 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 it's, it's, it's um, I'm, I, I'm going to sell the one I have. It's, uh, the one, so I'm getting a new Cintiq, so it's, it's a proper big upgrade. It's a bigger one. It's more, you don't care. <laughs> I, don't I just don't know what they are. I know what they are, but I, don't, yeah. I know there's something you get with like, the screen is in them. They look oh, that, yeah, cool. That, yeah, that, that's the one I have, but I'm getting a bigger one of them and a more, um, it's a better pen and all that stuff. You don't care. I can draw right. better. No, I, can I do draw. care. No, I think they're cool. Yeah. Like, cause yeah. I mean, I I can't draw for shit. Like, um, but I know, I know. Look, it's one of those things everyone can draw. They just have to learn kind of thing. It's but, just practice for most. Yeah, you know. But it's just uh, no, I have a million other things to do. And well, that's it. That's when, it. And uh, like, there's like so many other things. You know, people. People say, "Oh, I'd love to be able to draw like you." Yeah, well, you know, take fifteen years of your life out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Well, you just need like one or two hours per day for fifteen years, and then yeah. you you might be good as me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, You'd probably be much better. But like either way, that's fine. Um, uh, how's your sigils going? Yeah, All good. Right. Um, that's it. surprisingly how how uh, well people have kept up with it, considering that the other stuff we've kind of done that's similar, how it you know the fall off was quite quick. Um, but obviously, and you know, people are enjoying it, and people seem to be getting stuff from it, and mm. obviously, it's working for them as well. So, yeah, I'm trying to work out did any of mine come <laughs> did any of mine come true yet? I don't think so. But uh, yeah, couple... mine are all like far too long term. Yeah. yeah, it's not even long term, but mine, I suppose, are a bit more. It's not like. I want, you know, a statue of thought. It's, you know, and then you get it and you go, all right, that sigil worked. I've been a bit more kind of, uh, what's the correct word? A bit more kind of, um, that word where it, it's kind of a bit more, less defined and a bit more kind of more. Uh, vague? About, 
No, not vague, but more in like vague. a state. In, it's, in my head, it's uh, <laughs> imperial, empirical. It's not empirical because that word's some word. It'll come to me next week when I don't need to. Emphara. Emph- 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 Someone will tell. They'll know that. There. My brain is so shit with words these days. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's like I was watching that Jordan Peterson uh, video, the one with uh, John and Pajot, and he's talking about, you know, I just can't. You know, I just can't get to the words anymore. I know, John. I already know, uh, John. I understand. <laughs> I completely understand that. It's just you know more words than I do, probably. <laughs> Empherical? Emfer- em- I'm going to have to look it up. Is that a word? Emferical. E-M-P. Emfer. What was and the I- word I heard yesterday? I was watching some cookery program and they were in Israel. What did he say? Aggressivity. Is that a word? I don't think that's a word, is it? Aggressiveness, aggressiveness, city, aggressiveness, city. The guy was saying, "There's one city up ephemeral, in the north of Ephemeral, ephemeral. Is that the word I'm looking for? Ephemeral. Maybe ephemeral. Yeah. Ephemeral. That's it. Yeah. it probably doesn't even mean the thing I mean. I don't know. It sounds, um, sounds like a branded lady smelly water. Yeah. So it's 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 like um it's something quite fleeting and short in it in it kind of. But I don't mean it in that in that it's I'm looking for something that's quite fleet. It's like it's ephemeral in the sense that it's hard to grasp. That's exactly okay. what I mean. You know, that it's... Um, so I'm looking for, like, kind of states or insights or stuff like that. So it's it's not really kind of a thought statue. So there you go. There it is. It's kind of something that's harder to kind of see if it's it's more... You'll see it when it's, uh, when you look back kind of thing. So yeah, it's hard yeah, to know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's that French... There's lots of the French... Le Petit Mour, isn't it? Le petit, the Little Death. The little Death. Mm. Yeah, that's what came into my head there straight away. That's a funny thing. It's like after you... Jizz, yeah, 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 isn't it? Yeah, yeah, after, yeah, after 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 post post nut clarity, I believe is what the Americans <laughs> call it, which I like yeah. a lot less. Yeah. But the little death sounds great. It's like everything is wonderful, and I've just died. Yeah. Just, anyway, um, it's that moment after you, you, you you've come and then you've go. I was what what what, what am I watching? What stupid porn is this? This is disgusting. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> How did I end up here? <laughs> Don't even like leprechauns. <laughs> right this is a stereotype. Yeah. Stepsister Leprechaun. What? <laughs> <laughs> there was um, another. I remember I was saying to you a couple of weeks ago that the, the, the strange coincidence with the sigils was um, uh, people started coming into my life that I hadn't oh, yeah, spoken yeah. to in a while. So I had another one and I was looking up some article <coughs> about fixed uh, football matches, you know? Because uh, we get a lot of people coming to the website looking for stuff, like looking for, oh, give me a free ticket. So they're looking for like a, a free bet or whatever. And we don't do that. So we just say, no, look, we do we do stats. I want fixed games. And then I always send them an article that there's no such thing as... Fi- well, there are fixed games. It does happen. But like it doesn't happen to the level where like, you know, Johnny from Sligo is going to be able to send you inside information on Barcelona versus Real Madrid or whatever. But anyway, so I always send them this thing and I, and, and, and I decide, no, I'll tell you what, I'll send them a video. And if you put in fixed football matches on Google, like me and Bruce, my old... Bruce Grobel. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> there's a video of, of, of me and one of my old colleagues comes up and I just sent them the video. And like within like two or three minutes, your man in the video messaged me. How's it going, Spud? I'm like, Whoa. Wow. How are you, That's man? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, we haven't spoken since like the start of the pandemic. I was thinking, yeah, so we get talking away and like, um, it's funny because um, something else happened as well. There was someone else actually and um, we get talking and like, I just got like fucking like man emotional at the start and all. I feel like fucking like crying and I was trying to hide it. Right, you know, because right. like, oh, just all these memories came kind of flooding back and then, and then I got talking to him then about what he's doing and like it turns out he's like this uh, um, type of child um, psychologist and all. And you know, like I've spoken about before, like that fucking, like I'm petrified of being like a bad dad. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like, look, can you tell me like if, if what the fuck should I do here? Because Mickey's going through an age now where he's just, he's marking his territory all the time. He's quite, uh, urgh, you know, fighty, you know. Yeah. and um, I have one of them too. <laughs> <laughs> it's boys. Boys are like this, yeah. you know. And uh, and I says, look, I mean, do you have any advice for me? Like, I'm, I, I'm at my wit's end. Like, I just, just don't know what to do, and I, I really need help. And he says to me, "Well, that's above my pay grade. I can't really help help you." Oh right, that thanks, Jonathan Pajot. <laughs> that didn't happen to me, Tommy. That's exactly what Jonathan Pajot <laughs> did to fucking Jordan Peterson the other day. Yeah, it what is. What the yeah, fuck? Exactly. And like. People are, how are people not disgusted by Peugeot? Like, just 
Oh, it was know. ridiculous. Well, I think it's also because they don't like uh, Peterson, but so I suspect that an awful lot of people just didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> the guy is pouring his heart out and he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, I, mean, I need help. And Peugeot's just like, mm. <laughs> For anyone that does know, there was a, a recent podcast <laughs> with Jordan Peterson and Jonathan Peugeot. Um, Fan favourites, Jonathan Pajot Spud has, is a big fan of him. Has liked him from the beginning <laughs> and has only ever good things to say about him. But there's a point where, um, obviously, Jordan Peters has gone through an awful lot in the last while. Blah, blah, blah. Not getting into that. But he's having a kind of a, a moment where he's proper tearful and falling apart. And uh, and Jonathan just kind of goes, I don't know. You know, and, and like, <laughs> I suppose there's one thing, like, not to defend whatever, because it, 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 it's a bit, you know, you could say something. But, um, Maybe saying, well, it, it, like, I don't know the answer or I don't, but there's plenty of, you can, that's why, you, you know, you have a whole host of cliches and platitudes at the ready yeah. that you can, yeah. you know, you exactly. have something that you can at least rather than just go, you know, I don't know, you know, because I mean, yeah. it's not as if Jordan Peterson's going through, like, it's a fairly unique version of it, but it, it's like people have breakdowns, people have, you know, wives have cancer, you know, if people yeah. have had drug, uh, I mean, it's a funny one because like Peugeot, Peugeot in, in the interview, he lays out Carl Jung's individuation of of Christ mm. you know and it's like if for anyone watching it at first you'd be like oh Jesus he's really smart he, he knows what he's talking about but it's like yeah no he, he got all that from Carl Jung like, he didn't yeah. he didn't come up with that like he did not come up with that so it's just it's it's I because I didn't like him from the start okay that's yeah. fairly obvious oh what but over the last over the last <laughs> no over the last, over the, listen over the last couple of weeks then I've I've kind of opened the door to him a little bit and says right okay look everyone says he's smart and he is smart he knows he his smart. stuff but yeah. he's but he's very blinkered he's that's very my problem blinkered with him. yeah he is yeah. incredibly blinkered yeah. Uh, so I so, said okay I'll give him another chance and then when I watched his interview I was like nah that's the end Like that is the end of him now after, after that after that bit because he hit the individuation thing was okay that's quite smart but then just like your friend, your yeah, fucking yeah. friend asks you for help and you just be like, eh, yeah. like, fuck off. Yeah, it's it's like kind of, I like him and then there's like, you go, oh, that's very smart and insightful and whatever. And then he get, always gets a bit where he, you like, you just like, and he's like honest about it. He's like, he's a, you know, he's a Orthodox Christian. Very yeah, much but, an Orthodox but, but, Christian. You know what, you know, I yeah. didn't notice. He's a born again one. Oh, which is he, is, right? It's even, yeah, 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 even, yeah, yeah, even yeah. deeper down the rabbit hole. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's like, because like even what you was talking about, the whole, um, uh, sim- symbology of the virgin in you know Christian thought or whatever and he's, he's, he's talking about that you know that the wife has to be dedicated to the husband I don't know what I find and that he's just going to say and the husband has to be dedicated to the wife because that's how the marriage works no no the wife's <laughs> dedicated to the husband next next bit husband can do whatever <laughs> and that's fine because that, that is like that, that's a, an orthodox Christian and a Christian it's a Catholic thing although you know I dare say it in Catholic Ireland uh, to women they would not be having it as much as they used to <laughs> but um you know, this, and then you kind of go, oh, you know, because you kind of go along and then go, oh, no, I'm on the wrong boat. Oh, sorry, John. I'm not, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to Orthodox Christian land. I was just here to, you know, just to hear what you had to say about Carl Jung. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it is like, it's, he is, he's um, good to the point. Then you have to, kind of, you can, but you, it can be a bit insidious is too strong a word, but it's kind of that you can suck you into this kind of thing and then go, oh, no, I no, I actually don't believe that. But you've made such a good case and other things that yeah, I think yeah. that has more of a weight to it now. I go, no, but I don't believe it. And it's yeah, that yeah. kind of thing, thing that uh, it's hard to not to get into it is thinking that when someone has an insight in one area that they know everything, you know, sure. that there's somehow yeah. the thing. And it's like that. And the thing I'm learning uh, and finding hard to learn because it's a whole kind of pathology around family, obviously. But it is around that allowing other people's opinions to have more weight in my own mind, even when I disagree with them, mm-hmm. because there's a sense of authority to it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. growing up and say your dad says something like, "Oh, you know, you have to be in by eight o'clock," and I go, "Well, everyone else is let out till nine. Doesn't matter." And you go, "Well, that seems unfair. That's a thing, but it's an authority." So it's true, mm. even though it's not true, you know, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. That's a terrible you, example, but that. So it's like, no, no, I, I totally get you. I have a tendency to do that then with John and Pajot, with Jordan Peterson, with whoever, and it's not, you know, with, you know, I name anyone. When I'm reading a book, yeah. I tend to, and it then takes me a while after to kind of just pull back and assimilate it essentially and go, yes, no, uh, and I suppose well, the thing that I've discovered <clears throat> in the last couple of weeks, just when getting back into magic proper, is this how my perspective of a chaos magician changed dramatically in the last while, where I kind of seem to 
feel that there was a truth, you know, an actual thing. Whereas, of course, the case magi uh, magician perspective is there's none, you know, there's no truth. Everything is kind of. So when you it follows then in with that thing of that when you give someone the authority over all things, it's negating this kind of unfolding, you know, ever present. Uh, all things are true at the same time. And I know people really dislike that, but that is chaos magic. You know, that it, you, mm -hmm. we have the, that is, <laughs> is the thing from it, you know, although it seems to have, well, chaos magic, the ethos of it seems to have changed over the while, but that's what oh, I get from it. So there's a lot of kind of things going on with that in <clears> that, um, that I have to separate, you know, different things. But overall, I did enjoy that chapter between Jordan Peterson, John and Pajot. Oh, oh, yeah, given yeah, all I did that, too. I did too. Aside, yeah, I did yeah. too. I, I, I will say that. I did, yeah. I did enjoy it. I, I, he's better. There's he's, that 10 minute a... bit between 20 minutes and half an hour is the, the, the crying bit, if you want. Yeah. Is, yeah, is, yeah, is, yeah, is, yeah. is the, you know. He's, he's far better. Pajot's far better when he's speaking with someone who doesn't, who isn't on the same side of the field as him. And when he's not speaking as the knower, in yeah. the sense of that, um, in that relationship, I would Jonathan has the or um, Jordan has the higher authority because yeah. yeah. one of his podcasts, but also he's well, more he's, he's a psychologist, yeah, yeah, of he all does. that. So, <laughs> you know? so when he's coming from the, he, you know, he's he's a, he's not quite humble, but there's more of a, a humble kind of a yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, where he's not kind of demanding his his knowledge be true. He's kind of suggesting, which is it's much more yeah. palatable. But plus, because, like I mean, like like he he's no smarter than say like me and Tommy are on anything like. He 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 engraves stone for a living. That's, yeah, that's really good at it though, too. Yeah. He, he's he, he's not a he's not a theologist. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so this is this, isn't it? Like I mean, there's <laughs> all of these kind of things that you have to be super careful, particularly in, say, I brand all of this in a sense New Age thought, but it's not, and I know that's kind of unfair. But let's whatever is the bigger metaphysical, even that's you know a bastardization of that what that actual word means books or teachers and all of that kind of spirituality in that the kind of areas that they profess to have an expertise in they actually have no qualifications in for the most part yeah you know where, whereas like jordan peterson has in you know in thing but he still stretches into places he has no oh, reason yeah, yeah, to yeah. talk in or whatever and, but like look it's but what i'm saying is you should you should go to it if you really want to know uh the theology of something go to a theologian not an artist but the, you know like the, the, the same thing but like that doesn't mean that because Grant Morrison's only a writer, he hasn't anything good to say no, about of things. That either, doesn't or that mean John, every theologian yeah. is right. You true, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely correct. True. I mean, but it's it's like there's the you have to tread the line between like becoming a fucking. I'm not an academic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like between come, becoming a, an academic snob and only looking for letters behind people's names. Sure. Because that yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's not the right approach either. But it's like, look, I I don't remember the exact words, but there's like a fairly early lesson in, in, in Buddhism where Buddha's like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. But like appro approach everything skeptically and find your own. Yeah. Be a lamp onto and yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that's people with like uh, him who we've mentioned and the other guy who we're not going to mention. <laughs> <laughs> just... <sighs> But there's a thing, just to say. There's side a thing like the X-Files. It's like, I want to believe. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, I like yeah. that you want to believe. But yeah. you still need to ask questions. You yeah. know, ask questions. But there is just a because kind of... some words are in a book doesn't mean it's gospel. And even no, then, well, the gospels yeah, yeah. aren't true anyway. So, <laughs> they're they're, they're myth <laughs> mythological. More true than true. Yeah, it is. And it's, but it's like the question we've asked before, but why doesn't Graham Hancock just get, you know, his master's in history or, in, or you know, Robert Val yeah. in ancient Egyptian. Unless they think they're going to be indoctrinated into, you know, the, the, <laughs> the great lie or the great schema or whatever. But it would just mean that, like, like they've spent way longer, like Graham uh, Hancock has spent 30 years, 40 years, a million years talking about this kind of stuff. And what's a master? <laughs> Seven years? Like, he could have done it. And then his his views would have had so much more weight. I I think, anyway, like, that's, you know, if, if like, no, I, I, I'm qualified to say this. Until you have people, I suppose, like Rupert Sheldrake, who are qualified and people well, look, still well, don't look, believe. Do you know what's a good example of that is uh, Paul, what's his surname? Stamets, is it the mushroom guy? Uh, st yeah, Stamets, Stamets, whatever. Stamets, yeah. Stamets. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like that because he's like, uh, he can release as many books as he wants now and people can think he's crazy, but he's like, no, I have all the letters behind my name. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. a doctorate in this. I have a doctorate in that. I'm a professor at this university. Like, you can argue with me, but I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know? And I love that. I love that confidence that he has in himself. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, you know? uh, like I suppose that um, Rupert Sheldrick has as well. But he kind of, I suppose, him being a biologist perhaps is again talking out of his expert, talking outside of his box of expertise as well. Although yeah. he did uh, come to his theory of morphic resonance from <coughs> examining plants, you know, from his biology thing. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's just, I suppose it's have no gods, have no masters, you know, and, and kind of Ken Wilber always said he puts himself forward as a pundit rather than a guru, you know, someone who just, you know, like um, like a football pundit, someone who, you know, talks yeah. about it rather than necessarily is a, a great footballer himself. I suppose that, that's the, the other question is if you want to commentate on football, do you have to have been a great footballer in the first place? Probably not, but you should definitely have played it. You definitely should have watched a lot of it. You know what I mean? Like, you or... Yeah, that's why. I mean, I remember years ago when we were doing the music stuff, um, the website, we got into a, a big argument on, like we had a kind of a, a writer's forum in, in it, but behind the scenes. We got into a big argument one day about how uh, I thought that musicians made the best uh, critics because they just know more about music. Mm. And it went down like a fucking lead balloon, obviously. Right? obviously yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Except with the mu- mu- musicians who were like, "Well, yeah, obviously we yeah, can play obviously. guitar. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, you're just you're a fan, you know." And but like, it's not to look down on anyone. I mean, it's all just fucking opinions at the end of the well, day. That's and it. Is... That's it. And as soon as you start thinking that an opinion is more important or more true than someone else's opinion, given that it's only an opinion, now. Obviously, there's objective fact, possibly, depending on what, you know, let's not go down the rabbit hole of uh, objective fact. But, you know, that if I don't have any qualifications, you don't have any qualifications, thing, so both of our uh, assertions about this particular topic is opinion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's that's and, all you know, we have on, the, yeah. on, this, on, this, on this podcast is our yeah. opinions. Yeah. Do you know? And like, what do you go, oh, I have a doctorate in occult studies. Get the fuck out of here, will you? Yeah. <laughs> what? Where, 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 where can you get that? Can I do that at night time for like maybe an hour a day? Have an hour a day. <laughs> an hour a can day. Can I do that? And, no. and not, oh, and well, not every day. Okay. <laughs> and not every day. Well, then, okay, then I'm not yeah. going to get a doctorate in occult studies. It's as simple, yeah. <laughs> as, simple as that. Yeah, and you particularly know. like when it's, it's things we talk about, like, Although, like, I mean, I did go to Woo Woo College in some way. Like, I went and did, you know, holistic health studies, which is, you know. Hey, that, that's totally Woo Woo College. It is Woo Woo. <laughs> but, uh, so, I mean, you can go. And I do, I, I suppose, in that sense, I do have some qualifications uh, in the area. But, uh, you know, flower essences. Uh, let's talk about that. That's, that's the, for, from now on, that's the only thing we're allowed to talk about because, or not even flower essences, aromatherapy, Jesus Christ, I, I, I even... Uh, I even mixed up my own <laughs> my own qualification. <laughs> <laughs> I have a qualification in sign language, right? Like I, I, or a certificate or something that says I can uh, do. So. I, I can't. And uh, <laughs> really? at all, I can't at all. No, but I mean, I could, I could uh, take a teacher's. Well, not take a teacher. I could uh, apply and have the qualifications to, to teach it. Like. Jesus, no way! What, what did you do? Like a semester in sign language? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. And like, because Vanessa's learning it now, she's learning the kids one here, which is love, you know, for the, the preschool. And I'm going, yeah, I don't know any of that. I, I literally, I couldn't, know. I know you that. don't even like, remember the bad words. I like, that's love, you know, the horn symbol, but not only in America, not in Ireland. So I don't even know the Irish one, you know. It's, <laughs> it's so weird that years ago, they used to have two, um, a male and a female version so that they couldn't talk to each other. It's not so Get out of stupid. Here. You're joking me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I was watching a video about it, but I've probably seen it. It was a popular one on Reddit there the other day. I put a chap with an iPhone and he was showing how Braille works. That oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was really it good. It was really yeah. cool. Yeah. You know. But, uh, Jesus, yeah, Braille. God almighty. God. I don't even be able to find much on the fucking tree of life if you were <laughs> reading Braille, could you? Yeah, Jesus. You know, well, yeah, I, I, need to, I need a book on, this, on the 72 angels of the thing. The, yeah. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> isn't yeah, so you got much of your brain, no. though, to do with um, sight? Like, isn't it like such a high percentage... Of uh, processing again, power. Say again, Oh, sorry. A high percentage of processing power of your brain is related to sight. Like it's such a huge kind of way that we mm-hmm. view the world. That uh, I don't know. If you had to lose one sense, not that I want to lose any. Well, I definitely lose smell because I don't give a shit. But because <laughs> I lost it and it didn't really bother me that much. Um, <laughs> the only thing is, you know, if you're in danger, you really need it. You know, if your house on fire or you know, there's you know, toxic. You animals. smell it though, wouldn't you? Well, not if you've yeah, no I, sense I, I, of smell. Your sense of smell is gone. Sorry, I thought you were saying the one you'd get rid of. No, I, I don't know. Well, I'd rather, I'd rather be blind than deaf. That's for sure. You know? I don't know. Never be able to read. Never be able to, you know. Yeah, but audiobooks, man. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've, I have definitely... Right. <laughs> just think I've, ta- I've then, thought like, about it. You, you, being, you being such a good friend, though, what, like, you would have to take it upon your shoulders to read every single book that you... Read aloud every right, single okay. book for me. 
Yeah, I did. So that, that I yeah. can listen to at uh, at at speed and a half and hear Squeaky Tommy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only thing I suppose about it, you can't have an audiobook version of a comic, or you, I wouldn't be able to draw. So I mean, which do I lose, music or drawing? That's, that's I don't know, Tommy. Yeah. I think you'd yeah. still be able to draw. I mean, I've seen. I would be able to draw, but it would be very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we would go. Oh, that's great! You know, you've really improved. <laughs> it's oh, so thanks. profound, Tommy. <laughs> What's happened? Yeah. You've really upped your game. I'm blind. Yeah. Um, but there I is do, blind yeah, art. There has to be blind artists. I mean, that, that, there's a blind artist. Yeah, yeah. Of course there are. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm reading that Slainer book. Um, it's actually it's slain, been... unfortunately, because I asked Pat. It's Mills. not slain. There's a yeah. fodder on the A. I know, but he, like the guy who wrote it, says it's slain. I said it's not well, though. It's well, slain. Yeah. Look, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Where's he from? Is he English? Of course he's English. Of course Can't say his name. Yeah. Look, there was a, there was an English footballer called. Um, Oh, what's his fucking first name now? His surname is C-I-H-I-L-L. How do you say that? C-I-C-A-H-I-L. Hey. Huh? Cahill. Cahill. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So he pronounced his own name and like his grandparents were Irish. Cahill. It's like, you're an idiot. Well, you don't like even know how to say your own name. Keho. And, you know, well, it's Kyo. You know, you can stop that now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It's just, what a weird thing to like not being able to pronounce your own name. Imagine. Yeah, but there's, there's the Gallagher uh, thing as well. Like Gallagher. Yeah. Gallagher, you know. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, learn just, how to say your own fucking surname. Well, I suppose it's the way it's it went to a different country and then changed it. it. But it's not even an accent. Like it's a, it, that's a, like the Gallagher thing is a pronunciation of a G that we don't. Like that's yeah. Gallagher. Doher- Doherty. There's an Irish footballer called Doherty at the minute, and a few of them, in fairness to the commentators, they they make an effort to get her to write. But some don't give a fuck. There's a like, right. Doherty. What? Right. That's a name. Yeah. And. <laughs> There's one sure way of annoying an Irish person is to mispronounce their name, you know, because yeah, we have yeah. that huge fucking Sivin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Siopan? Mab. Um, Mab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mab. Just... Yeah. But I mean, at the same oh. time, like, it smelled weird if you've never seen it. Like, I can understand how someone could look at S I O B H A I N and go, Siobhan, ah, really? Of course, of course. <laughs> but it's not, the, but it's your surname. Like, this is like, yeah. you've had this I, I, all your life. How do you yeah, not yeah, know how sure. to say your surname? Yeah. Oh, you uh, mean the person themselves rather than other people? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He called himself Cahill. He's like, right. that's not your name. Like, it's <laughs> literally not your name. <laughs> Can't say your name. Like, what? what's wrong with you? It's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Yeah, so I, I was reading that. I got into the second second bit of it now. And uh, yeah, it, that's what brought it up. You were talking about the art. I, the art is always the bit that I kind of struggle with with comics because I'm, I'm kind of more into the story of it, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, Beanot was saying that like, oh yeah, the art is great, isn't it? And I, <laughs> sorry, Beanot, I didn't even answer that question because it was like, eh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, it's Simon Bisley is the it's artist. The story, very, it's the story, yeah. it's the story. It's the story. Like, because it, it brings together like the, the it's a kind of retelling. Like, of he goes to the underworld bits. and meets the goddess. It's not essentially, yeah, yeah, if I remember correctly. That, it's a long and then time like, there's loads, there's loads of bits of like the your origins of the of the Irish myths and all like that, and they're not. Like he's taking like some really cool poetic license with it. They're not yeah. the ones that you'll read in the in, mm-hmm. in, in in the ancient books. But he has this kind of it's not a modern retelling either, and like that. But he just takes bits from here, bits from there, bits from there, and puts them all together. And it's I, I really like it. I really like it. It's a great idea. There's um, there's loads of different um artists who've done uh, slain. Uh, mine favorite is Mick McMahon, who pronounced his name correct, <laughs> even though he's English. Um. Mahone, um, and Mahone. It, yeah, it's it's like the earlier kind of stuff, black and white kind of stuff. It's fabulous. I prefer that over the Simon Bisley stuff. I'm not a huge fan of the painterly comic stuff. Like, I, it's brilliant. And Simon Bisley's, you know, at one stage was nearly a household name too. Like he was so right. popular. But because um, it's kind of to me, it's kind of Conan-y, I, isn't it? It's that heavy metal kind. Yeah, of, it is. It's heavy metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it's, uh, there's a, it's well, I don't know if you have it. There's definitely a couple of panels which he does has definitely hasn't finished that he just went. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> 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 okay. Run out of time. Um, by all accounts, he's really nice dude as well. He used to work in con- uh, construction sites, and then he was just drawing stuff. And people said, "You should, you know, you should do comics." Like, mm. ah. And then uh, someone found, and he, him and Pat Mills met. So it's kind of you yeah. know, overnight That's success. Good. I'm, I'm really impressed with it because, like, you should. Well, my point, stuff... sorry, is that you should read some of the older stuff because it, it, they're a, a bit. But more a uh, closer retelling of the tale than ah, okay. the Horn God. No, the Horn God is one of the very later the versions of yeah. Slain. Yeah. Yeah, he was telling me to read the Horn God. And it is good. Yeah, he goes down to the underworld, talks to herself, and uh comes back with it with it with it with a mission to do. And it's like, yeah, well, he kinda had the mission before he went had it, but she gave him some help, some pointers on what to do. 
I'm not spoiling it for anyone. It's if you have any kind of passing interest in There's, Irish uh, mythology, it's a good. You know, the, the real Irish stuff with the you know the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. You won't be able to see it, but it's you know, it's uh, no, you won't. Oh, can't see that. The black and white one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Stippled. It's good. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun because like it. That's the thing. But I, I've told you this about comics as well. Because I'm, I don't, I know so little about them. I'm intimidated to kind of where to start with a lot of stuff. And plus, you know, I have a million books to read as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, I understand. Like it's, it's the um, and there's so much shit. Like so when I was trying to get into manga. And it's it's like you just are bombarded with like there's so much manga, you know, and so much mm. for every age. And there's like 17 different genres that are very well defined to Japanese people, but aren't to, you know, someone else. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, shonen yeah, yeah. and shinen and all this. But it's like takes a long time to kind of get to define the stuff you like. Um, but when you do, it's great. So I, like it's like trying to learn Photoshop now, you know, like. You just have, where would you even start trying to Jeez, show someone could Photoshop? You, imagine, yeah. you know, it's just like some go, <laughs> right, so there's a hundred years. Well, there's 90 years of comics, say, 100 years, of, including newspaper strips. Uh, yeah, just, you know, find for you, find out for yourself, you know. And you, well, and you go, well, I don't really like superheroes. We go, well, that's going to make it a wee bit harder for you. Um, yeah, so I understand. It's the same thing. Throw, throw in the deep end. And because, you know, you're going to come across so much terrible because like it's like, I don't know, if you got into yeah. Westerns and go, well, there's a lot of Western books you could read. <laughs> Not, you know, <laughs> there's yeah. going to be an awful lot of shit Western books you're going to read. Well, too. I suppose at least, well I suppose, well, I suppose you could do that with comics as well. You could just do 10 best graphic novels or 10 best thing, 10 best. That's what that's what I tend to do when I'm looking to get into a genre. Yeah, but I mean, if book. you do the 10 best, you're going to get three of them will be Alan Moore, the other two will be Grant Morrison. So there's your top five. Yeah, I could probably name them myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know fuck all about comics. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've probably read them. Yeah, you know? like I mean, top of every list is going to be Watchmen, right? Like no matter mm. what, even for people. Watchmen, From yeah. Hell, V yeah, for Vendetta, Vendetta. Invisible will be there. His uh, Frank Miller's Batman will be there. There oh, was yeah, that, yeah. that six we already have, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, yeah. Oh, I know. Like, I mean, and there's much better comics than them. There's much better comics than Watchmen. You know, no. I mean, I mean, it's obviously groundbreaking and it's it's time and place and all that. But... <sighs> yeah, so we watched the film as, as well. To, we've a couple of things. I'm, just, we're here, to... I'm, just, I'm after writing down Farty Animal Game and I forget what it was. Oh. I write down these little notes and I'm going to tell you. What the fuck was the Farty Animal Game? I don't have to think about that now. Oh, I remember what it was. We were playing Duplo this morning with the young lads and uh, <laughs> the young fella could see I was getting a little bit bored. You know, because right. it's Duplo and I'm a bit old for Duplo. I don't and, know what Duplo uh, is, so is it? A, is Duplo it? is the big the big Lego. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, next thing he says, ta 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 ta, look at this, look at this. And he takes a tiger and puts it on it, <laughs> puts it on the table, and he just goes, <laughs> and launches it, <laughs> launches it across the room, and he goes, ha ha, look, he farted so much he turned into a rocket. <laughs> nice Holy my son, that's it, we don't need DNA tests. That's it, he's my boy, you know? Nice one, yeah. <laughs> Uh, have a look at that. There's a, a, a thing I wrote on Adventures of Moo a banishing ritual for your children. So have a look at that. Oh, it's really good. I it's, really uh, enjoyed reading that. I have to say, yeah, it's it's uh, it's very yeah, good. Yeah, but it's, it's your fault because like, oh, and, and 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 thanks because like <laughs> it's your fault, but thanks. No, no, but listen, <laughs> but it's, it's 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 yourself and Aga who are like literally the only people on the planet who fucking have any belief in me at all. And like when I come up with ideas. I usually, within 20 seconds, have shot them all down in my head going, no, that's a fucking stupid idea, you idiot. You idiot for even that being alive. That's how my brain works, you see. Yeah. But like, but then like, I might, I might share with Agatha. She'd be like, that's a good idea. Or like, I shared, said it to you, and you yeah. were like, no, I didn't even say it to you about an article. It was like something about rituals for kids. And No, it wasn't even that. I was saying, like, I, I had done this with Mickey, and you were like, yeah, yeah. you should write that. So... Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, you should worries. give me. You should tell me to write more things. You know when I have ideas, <laughs> yeah. or maybe not. Well, you no, know, but you're good at that. You can say yeah. no. That's, that's a good idea. Do it. Go with it. You know. Yeah, and you're right. It's well, like not that your other stuff isn't well written. This is particularly well written, and and, and it's well, I mean, I read. put the words in the right order. Yeah, which is always made, helpful. You know, <laughs> <it's> always <laughs> helpful. and I made sure I the spelling it. was correct. Well, yeah. you know, to a British English standard, which is yeah. what I'm stuck with. You yeah. know, but uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, thanks. So uh, read it and uh, do do fun. Banishing rituals, which, which although I'm not I, the, the, the garlic thing, I don't know if I could. 
that would start to get annoying after a while. Because you're not, you know, switch it up a bit of rosemary the next day or, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, uh, patchouli. <laughs> patchouli, I don't know, patchouli. Patchouli always reminds me of a particular ma- um, type of man. Are you talking about your Pornhub thing again now? Patchouli <laughs> yeah, yeah. and rosemary. What's going on here? No, you know what you're saying? You're putting garlic <laughs> in the spray for the... Of course, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But patchouli is a, a kind of a, a I suppose, a, reminds me of like, that kind of a hippie aftershave type of smell that certain people used to wear, and it's just a kind of I always associated it with that. It's nice though, but it's a bit, it's a bit heavy. Anyway, that's yeah, sure, the point. it's it's just it's it's all about just making the potion with the kid. Yeah, that's all yeah, it is. Yeah, Do you know, it's the same as that inner inner workbook I've been blathering on about for ages. When you ritualize something, you it's you actually have a kind that of sense uh, of power over it. in our workbooks on audiobook and scribed. So I'm gonna have a listen. Yeah. To it. it's on on my list. Oh, good. So. Yeah, do yeah, it's good. Right. So anyway, yeah, the film. We watched yeah. two films. Yeah, which we'll we'll do the the spell first. Okay. Yeah. Um. So Morgan over on the Adventures in Woo Woo Discord put up uh, a suggestion of a film called Spell. Um. Not to be confused with the spell that came out last year, which is about hoodoo. Which seemingly is really, really good as well. This is one from 1998, and it is essentially. No, it's 2000. Yeah, how old is it? It's not that old. It's like 2018. Oh, sorry, 18. Sorry, did I say 2008? Yeah, yeah 2018. You sorry. said 1998. Did old I? Man. Most of the listeners weren't even born then, man. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, could everyone just watch it for Y2K because I think there's going to be airplanes falling from the sky. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling something bad's going to happen in 2001, <laughs> round September. Just, just be, just be aware. God, I shouldn't laugh at that. Sorry. No. It's funny because the other day something came up about some there was some joke on uh, Reddit or something about uh, 9/11, and it was I was going, oh, I said to Vanessa, that's only a joke that you could have a decade after that happened. And she went, a decade. A decade. A <laughs> decade. <laughs> and holy fuck. <laughs> Whoa, man. Where did those years go? You know, yeah. like, if, if you were someone like Cheech and Chong, you'd have a good excuse. You'd be like, whoa, it all went yeah. by in a fucking blaze of, well, smoky glory. But, like, with oh. us, we just like, oh, shit, we, we got old. Yeah, oh, got man. Yeah. Well, Damn you know, it. I read a few Damn bits. Damn it, I'm, I'm missing <laughs> at least five years I could have been having great crack. And now I'm just, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, I, I still, no matter what, I still think I'm 27. That's that's my default brain age. That, that's what I think it is. Very weird. Anyway, Spell from 1993. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have I, 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 I a feeling, I have a feeling Kurt Cobain is not doing well. To, I don't think he's going to last long. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear he start, I, see, I hear he's seeing Michael Stipe behind uh, Courtney Loves. Oh, back, she'll, de- she'll definitely kill him, make it look yeah, like she suicide. Won't, she won't be liking this now. She yeah. won't like this at all. No. So Spell, 2018. <laughs> well done, Tommy. <laughs> Not to be confused with the spell that came out last year, which is uh, <laughs> which is on Netflix, which which is nineteen forty two, and it's meant to be good as well. But anyway, this is um, I th- how to explain this without giving it away, um, Spud. <laughs> uh, hmm. I you can't really give it away. Like I mean, you can. I suppose it's. Um, well, you can't give away the ending, but it's fairly. Uh, there's, hmm, there's. Say there's a scene fairly early on, and there's a scene halfway through here. Like, okay, yeah, I, I totally know her because the first scene is like, oh, I think I know where this is going, and yeah. then the next scene is that happens about halfway through. You're like, yeah, I totally know where this is going. So yeah, we yeah. <sighs> so a guy, an actually. American with a beard. So go off and, and watch it. Hill. Go off and, like like the last time. Go and watch yeah. it. Go and watch, oh, go it. watch it. Yeah, Tor- go, just, that's going to be a standard thing for now. Just watch it. Yeah. Although Torrent is hard to find, but if you get in touch with uh, not me, yeah. I won't tell you where it is. Yeah, or me. Uh, so, <laughs> a guy, an American, with uh, a beardy, long hair, so he kind of looks a bit uh, Viking, Viking-ish, Viking-y-y-y. but does he? It's hard to know. He goes to uh, Iceland because he's trying to, he doesn't really know what he wants to do with his life, and it just seemed for some reason he would go to Iceland because he's after surviving, I suppose, a tragedy in his personal life. And uh, <laughs> he immediately goes to a museum <laughs> and... Uh, and uh, it's one of the uh... Iceland must be a great place for museums, man. I know. They have yeah. the world's biggest penis museum. You know, it's the magic they museum. The, they have the magic and witchcraft and magic museum, sorcery museum. I don't know. I did look it up, but the proper name is like sorcery and black magic museum. I think. Is this right? Or something like that. 
And it's like, oh, that looks dead. Well, the penis museum looks fucking immense. That yeah. that'd be such a giggle, so it would. That'd be hilarious. And you'd just be like, ah, look at the lion. No wonder you're pissed <laughs> off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. Yeah, then see you the know? horse one and go, all right, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I've seen plenty of them. Jesus Christ <laughs> almighty. God, fucking scary yokes that they are. Whoa. Whoa. Where, where, do, where do you hide that? How does that fit in you? How? What the f- Look at this fella. And then they piss for ages and you're like, come on, man. I'm going to have to clean that. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Um, okay, so you, 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 you left it. You left it because oh, okay, he yeah. has he he has the uh, obsessive compulsive disorder where he has to. Yeah, <laughs> he has hilarious. the he has the essential <laughs> um, mental illness that is needed for all protagonists in films about magic, so that you can blur the lines of what's real and what wow. isn't. Yeah. <laughs> so he has this thing where he has to, and it's not like. Like, I, I think most people do have a little bit of OCD where they have to kind of touch things a few times or have to make sure that the door is locked and they, you know, they're f- fucking driven halfway to Dublin and, ah, fuck! Yeah, have to go, go back. back. Yeah. And then you have to lock it three times and touch it three times to make sure that the leprechauns don't come and of steal course. your I mean, gold. It's, it's, it's Obviously. important, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yes, but he has this thing where he has to lick things. And, yeah. and he also has a second one where every time he sees a sharp object, he wants to plunge it deep into his... Uh, Left ear, I think. Yeah. Um, but the licking one is is just amazing. When he's he's in washing his hands in the in the in the airport, yeah. and no one's around, and he just puts his head down and licks the tap, and you're like, oh my god, it's disgusting. It's and then he's in the penis. Particularly now that it's post uh, pandemic, you go like, what? Come on, man. <laughs> he's in yeah. the penis museum, yeah. <laughs> and he's standing there, and there's this little tiny willy of some animal, some <laughs> poor, poor shamed animal who doesn't have much to boast about at all and he thinks no one is looking and he's like oh no 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 and he bends down and uh, and (laughs) suddenly there's like these four Icelandic teenagers just like standing there like Sigur Ross and all and they're just like oh my god and he's like oh no get me out of here and then and then he gets the calling to go to the magic museum and that's when shit gets weird yeah, there's a bit of a, a jump, I thought, for me, that the, the guy kind of, you know, he noticed him. He said, oh, yeah, I have the, this kind of OCD thing. And he goes, oh, we found him. And I kind of go, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. But I th- unless he was kind of, because he does this thing with his hand where he's, where, watch the films, turn off now, I'm going to spoil something, um, where he's drawing out runes with his hands unbeknownst to himself. So unless the guy in the museum is somehow a cop that he's doing that, but even that seems a bit of a, a stretch. So I don't know. I thought that was a bit of a jump. That that was a bit jarring for me. Kind of go, really, really, because or or unless I don't know. It only gets a bit stranger from then. <laughs> <laughs> it does definitely get yeah. stranger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So uh, yeah. So he he ends up in a pub. Uh, does not next. That's not where um, where he just happen happens happens funny years to meet a certain bunch of people, um, who say that he should go on a trip the next day with this kind of local guy who's going to show him the real Iceland, stuff that tourists never see. And he's kind of bullied into doing this. I would totally do that, man. Oh, I yeah, would, for I, sure. I, I, yeah, for mm. sure, man. Any country in the world I end up in, except like, I'm not going to end up in weird ones, though. I, if someone said, you want to see the real Peru, like, the man's going to meet you tomorrow, bring clothes. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah. let's fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. How, how, is this free? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much? Like, do people come back from this? <laughs> this isn't going to cost you five hundred dollars or anything now, is yeah. it? Because like you know, that's like ten years' wages where I live. <laughs> so uh, uh, what was his name? He had a funny name, didn't he? Shema Strandor, wasn't it? Strandor. Oh, Stinkdor. <laughs> Stinkdor. Yeah, he was. Um... <laughs> then the pub, though. That, that, that pub, I've seen that pub on some uh, travel shows for Iceland, right, okay. so obviously it's a famous one. And they, I think they have this famous Viking dish or something like that. I don't know, anyway, it doesn't matter. And um, <laughs> so he's there and they're getting drunk with the Icelanders. And then, you know, he starts getting the hots for this chick. And she's like... <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> and, and then and then she's like... Uh, they're, they're passing by, a, they're, they're walking home and they pass by a tattoo partner. <laughs> and... He says, so do you have any tattoos? She's like, yeah, I have seven. He says, all right, give us a look. She says, no, if you get one, I'll show you. And he's like, yeah, obviously. And like any man in the world would be like, yeah, obviously I'm going to get a tattoo now. Like she's going to show me her tattoos. Yeah, and then she yeah, just shows I, you I, one I, on, the, on, on the ankle and you go, all right, okay. <laughs> I will get all the tattoos now just to see some of her flesh. So 
He goes in and gets this Viking. Don't they call what did they call them? Staves. In the Viking staves, isn't it? Is mm. that what they call? I thought they were yeah. bind runes. Well, hold on. Sorcerer screed gets pulled out there for people who don't know what I'm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they're, st- they're called staves, but they're essentially sigils. So what's a but bind rule? A bind rule is a particular type of thing where you combine runes from the Fook talk. So that you take, you know, your Fehu and Udala and you put them together into one thing. Whereas it seems... So what's the difference with that? What's that the difference this, with a stave? It's more closer to a sigil where you're making, it's not necessarily um, one of the runes. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's you my understanding that. of it. But so I mean, you got a stave? You got a stave, yeah. But it looked like a bind rule. It well, it's still, yeah, but it still has it, yeah, but it, it's like, well, it could be a bind route. Like, it depends on, like, where every single one of them, one of the, the, um, because so that, that protection one that I think it's based on is, uh, yeah. oh, fe, fe, oh, anyway, this is not good yeah. audio. Um, yeah, so either way, but I think there is a, a difference in the stave because there's loads of staves in that book, which is Icelandic magic, that aren't right. based on the folk talk. So that's uh-huh. why I'm kind of being hesitant about it. But, People so anyway, in... so he, he he goes in and he gets this tattoo, or, or, or and and he's, he's first he has to pick one, and she has loads on her phone for some reason, and so he picks this one that looks a bit rougher than the other ones, a bit older kind of thing, and she's like, "Why'd you pick that one?" And he's like, "I don't know, I just like it," and it turns out that this is the bind rune of the the magician that they had been talking about in the museum, Lothar. Something, something, something. something, if, something. And if you're into your ruin magic, you'll, yeah. you'll know him. He's this famous Icelandic guy from two or three hundred years ago who done this big work and yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> tried to bring people, tried to do some necromancy or something. Yeah, bring people back, back from so. the dead. Yeah. Yeah. Is he the guy who had the, the dead trousers or the, the skin trousers? Is that him? I'm, I'm mixing oh them up. Yeah, I'm not Ooh. sure. Really? There's a few of them. Because <laughs> the guy, the source, the guy I was uh, first when you were talking about it, um, I was mixing up with it, is the, the guy who's... The book I've just shown you, the source of secrets. He's more from right. about a hundred years. He's a farmer dude who had all these yeah. type of type of things. Right, yeah. but I don't think Lothar something is now. I don't think he's a bad guy. He just wanted to bring back smart people from the, from the, from what am I saying? From the underworld or from <laughs> from bring them back from being dead. Yeah, yeah. Put a fucking make them do a John Snow on them and and get like knowledge from them. That's that's what he wanted. So anyway, so he's necromancy you know, he, essentially. Get necromancy. old necromancy. Yeah. So he. Uh, yeah, he gets his tattoo, and then like <laughs> the tattoo guy goes, "Does he know what it is?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course fine. he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like, okay. She says and, it's for um, good luck. <laughs> and then she brings she she's like, and then she's just like, "Yeah, can you?" Oh yeah, she shows him her boob, and we don't get to see it, which is a bit disappointing. In fairness, mm. I mean, she did promise she was going to show if he got one. Yeah, you know. So that's you know, but like we're not zero him. points. <laughs> we're, not, we're not. Well, you know, and um. Uh, and then she she's like in the middle of the street and she's like okay we have to go to your house because I have what's your roommates yeah. or parents or whatever and um, <laughs> and then there's the most, most tragic hand job in oh, yeah. film history happens it's just think of your dead fiance just, just think of your dead fiance so they're getting it on they're getting it on and, and she's like oh do you have any any good playlists which is like what what the fuck like if we have time for music we have time for music <laughs> get your pants off what the fuck is going on here so she puts on this playlist and about and like two songs in uh, this song that was his dead wife's favourite song whenever comes on so immediately he loses his boner and he's like oh, I'm sorry it's never happened before oh, no. and then he goes off and cries in the toilet and comes back and she's like oh, what's wrong oh, oh god I shouldn't have come here and then my wife my fiance died and oh I feel terrible I shouldn't have done this and she's like it's okay just think of her <laughs> and me and Aga were just like that would never happen that would just never happen. How? Like, what the uh, fuck? Like, and then, and then you realize, okay, she's up to something here. Mm. You know, that's the first kind of clue. And then it kind of just goes on from there. And uh, yeah, you, I'm talking too much. You take over. Yeah. So it's just kind of it turns out that she steals uh, his. Well, you don't find out later, but she steals his cum and puts it in his uh, medicine jar, um, and steals the ring and then cuts some of his hair. So what she's essentially doing is making it a fetish. Uh, you know, like a, a, a magical item or whatever uh, out of it. <clears throat> They're kind of convinced that he is some sort of either reincarnation or some sort of embodiment of your man, uh, 
the Icelandic magician. So the next morning he gets up and he notices that all this has been taken away and he, he goes to meet your man, which again, definitely wouldn't happen because you'd wake up hungover and go, I've been stolen, I'm staying in bed all day. That's what <laughs> I would do anyway. But I think his kind of rationale is that this dude might know your one, which, it turned, you know, he, he asks, yeah. do you know He wants just, to get his jizz back. Yeah, like, his jizz. Fuck. Well, I don't think he knows his jizz has been stolen at this point. <laughs> but... uh <clears throat> So anyway, he, he end, the man says, you know, I'll get all that stuff back for you, um, but come with me, uh, you know, I, I'll get it when, my, when we come back. He had a lovely jumper, didn't he? He did a lovely jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those Icelandic jumpers are amazing, yeah. So to go off friend, some of the most beautiful scenery you'll ever see in your life, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, go to, um, you, then we get taught uh, what's the difference between ice and, uh, what was it called? The big Glacier. ice? Glacier, yeah. So yeah. you get a bit of a lesson on that. And uh, so then there's kind of this kind of breakdown scene where he's talking about, um, you know, his compulsions and stuff like that. And, you know, that uh, about sticking a thing in his ear and where it all co- comes from. And, you know, that, that, I thought that was a good scene. Um, he kind of reminds me, he talks, his kind of speech pattern is a bit like Louis C.K. I don't know if, if that was the same <laughs> yeah, for you, but yeah, there is yeah, a kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. He no, no more looks like him or he doesn't have his <clears throat> mannerisms, but he's, he de- definitely has inflections. He's, and, a, he's, he's a weird character because, like, you like him. But he's incredibly moany. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I no. know a number of people who I, you could just go. I know these. I know this guy. I know. I've, I've met him a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And you're like, why don't you lighten up, man? It's like, okay, yeah, your wife, you know, fell in the swimming pool or whatever. But like, it's ages ago, and like, you just got a hand job off a hot Icelandic chick. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all fucking gravy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so hey, we'll have to give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe he's not always like that. Um, he does he does seem to have had a, hard, a bit of a hard life with her anyway, given that she seems to be an alcoholic and always making a fool of herself and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, there, there is definitely a miserableness to him. Um, so kind of at this point, you're, you're going to get into the whole thing of because he's off his medication, so the, the, the writing is kind of uh, allowing that all this can not be true as well, which that kind of vagueness, which is kind of, I think, is a bit... Um, well, it's a trope in one, but it's also, I don't know, it's a bit of a cop out, you know. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a bit of a get out of jail. Get it, yeah. Word, isn't it? But I understand, but there is, a, I understand, I suppose, a need for it because there's nothing worse than if you're watching a TV show or a film and you're kind of going, is this ghost? Is this, you know, psychological? Is this whatever? And then when there's a payoff, and Stephen King does it all the time, where it's just, yeah, it's a ghost, you go, oh, well, that's a bit boring. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, yeah. it, it kind of, so it, it I don't. It's it's a trope, but it's uh, used. It's it's used because how do you keep that tension going? Because if you spill your beans, if you spill your cum too early, um, <laughs> you know when you just go, this is magic. <laughs> then it's you know it, you're into fantasy straight away. So you're you're kind of you're losing the tension. Yeah. Uh, and if you go, oh well, this is just mental illness, then you're losing the fantasy, and so it's losing attention. So I understand yeah, the need yeah, for yeah. it, but it's just kind of when it happened, I went, all right, okay, I, I you know I I know how this ends now, you know. It's, you, you can see that it's going to happen and it, it ends exactly the way these films end um, yeah 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 yeah. Um, well it's good like when he's up on the glacier he starts doing this thing with his hands and then Strandoff whatever his name was he's like do you know what you're doing there and he's like ah this compulsion ah. and he's like no no you're you're doing uh, Viking runes and he's like and then he produces this piece of fucking vellum yeah. parchment and he's like yeah, these are these are what you're writing, man. This is like spell. You were. Yeah, because he gets him um, to do it in the ground or something, doesn't he? So yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, you're. I don't think he says it to him then, but he's like, yeah, you're you're someone, and um, you were supposed to be here to do to carry on some work he didn't finish. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then, and then they go off then and have a a naked sauna together, which is that's obviously it, yeah. what you should do. do I mean, yeah. that's just that's just how, that's just what you do after you tell someone that they are. A reincarnated Viking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's there. It's in the well, room. Every time I've been told I'm a reincarnated Viking, <laughs> I've had a, a sauna with a, a new a naked Icelandic man. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's quite joyful. But um, the, the, the shit goes down here. It goes wrong. He he insults him. He gets annoyed with him, and he ends up killing him. The American kills the Icelandic fella, and then like out of nowhere, then um, handjob lady and her mate come in. Probably her boyfriend. That's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. That's like. But then again, if it's for the greater good, you'd be like, yeah, go off and give him a hand job with you. But like, no, no tongues, okay? Don't oh, be yeah, kissing yeah. him because yeah. I want, I want to kiss your mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, dig ups, but and yeah. um, 
Yeah, so they come in, they rescue your man, and and then they just spell out. It's like, yeah, you are this this guy. Well, hold on. Well, one of the thing is because they have the the <clears throat> part of the spell is that you have to spill the blood of a murdered man. So they oh, take yeah. they take the blood yeah. of the Icelandic dude, and this then completes the fetish or the fetch, I think they call it in this. Mm. Um, that uh, you know, is the magical totem thing. So that was that was the final ingredient. Uh, obviously, they bring your man back to life with the the. <laughs> the magic Hollywood uh, injection that brings all dead people back to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just inject this. Isn't it? yeah, it's, it's adrenochrome, isn't it? It's adrenochrome. It is adrenochrome. It's got something yeah, to do with five G and Bill Gates. Five, I heard it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know how they got their hands on it, but anyway, fair play. And uh, yeah, and then he discovers that he is this fella, and he has to walk. He has to find. Then he then he goes well, he doesn't. He doesn't just really believe it until he hitchhikes home and then goes, Oh fuck it. Oh, I have to go north. Why am I going to say it? <laughs> yeah, Get it's it. a weird one. Yeah. But, so, yeah, it goes all Lord of the Rings then and he has to go walking from runestone to runestone and yeah. figure out which way he should which go. Like, apart from the very last one, which is ridiculous because he gets to it and there's obviously one way to go and he makes a big song and dances. Oh, I've walked it out. It's this way. Yeah, the one path that leads from the stone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he walks into a house then. Oh, no, he does this, the last part of it and his house appears yes, and the wife the, is in it beside the waterfall because it's mentioned at the begin, beginning of it that this guy who's going to take him the, the Icelandic guy he ends up skinny dipping with has a wonderful house beside a waterfall so this has been prophesied <clears> from the beginning as the right. you know as the result of the the working so he walks in and, and, and the fiance is there alive and he's like uh, is this real she's like yeah <laughs> she had, one of her it's hilarious one of her first answers is like can we do it Mm. <laughs> I was like, yes, like that is exactly what a person who is dead would want to do. Like, I'm alive, let's have sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. had sex since I died. Okay, I need sex, let's have sex. <laughs> he's like, no, you're probably smelly and disgusting. She's I know, like, but yeah, it's, okay. it's actually, it's, uh, it's him that is that, you know, oh, I'm so smelly. Because you've been dead for six months. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it can't be that bad. <laughs> I mean, she's awesome and she's like, she's persistent. Like, she didn't yeah, yeah. say it once, she's like, twice, she's like, She's really horny, which is just a, a wonderful thing to behold in any woman. You know, everyone wants to see horny women. We, we need more horny women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Society let's, would be uh, fixed. Let's start a movement. <laughs> <laughs> I think the movement was me too, was it? Let, let's not start that movement, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and so that's really the end of it. Then they all live happily ever after. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. I stopped watching at that point because I, you know, like it. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Imagine that was the end, and you went, "All right, okay." <laughs> Magic know. works. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd be, I'd be down in the garage making yeah. fucking ruins the whole time, yeah. man. You know, I didn't want to steal my cum. Come on, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, God. to sort out their lives and what it meant, and he gets a chance to to shout it off because it's unfair, and it turns out she didn't kill herself, which. We didn't know he thought she killed herself until that exact yeah, moment. Yeah, we didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, was... There's a scene is like, did, did he think it was suicide? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. They all thought it was suicide. <laughs> right. Okay, we didn't. Because the opening scene, thought. it's clearly not suicide. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Strange, that yeah. was. That, yeah. that was. Uh, anyway. And then you have, uh, well, it all goes on fire for some reason and she has to leave. And um, then he walks into a waterfall. Yeah, because <laughs> something to do with the original spell, he had to go out into water. But this yeah. time, I think the difference between the original spell two or three hundred years ago and this one is that this one was completed because it had the blood of a murdered person. Yeah, is right. that what the difference is? I think. Well, I think. I so. think yeah, yeah. So, and then there is the fucking phone call from the doctor. Which yeah, is, which to just yeah. to recap that. Oh, this is mental illness, and yeah. you're going to start seeing things unless you take. You no know, I, there was that bit in particular that was. Uh, there's no need for that. They, they, it was ambiguous enough that just right, we yeah. get it, we get it. You know, you don't have to signpost it so much. Or at yeah. least have d- made that doctor's conversation before he goes in. No, because that's worse going into the house. I don't know. Don't do that doctor's conversation. At yeah, all. I'd have left it out and just yeah. said, it's up to you to make of it to be magic or not. And mm. I would have said, yeah, it's definitely magic. He's gone into the waterfall. Yeah. He's gone there. Because like, my understanding of why... Okay, so why did he have to bring her back? And it's because he thought it was a suicide. So because yeah. he thought it was a suicide, then he believed he'd never get to see her in heaven no, or right, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had to know what it was and then they could be together in the end. Or it was after. just unresolved. 
<clears throat> you know, something had to be resolved. The yeah. madness thing is interesting because it's in. Do you ever read um, Jonathan Strange and Mister Norrell or Norrell, whatever you want? I well, yeah, I watched it. I watched yeah. it. Yeah, you know the bit. Yeah. Um, spoilers. Watch definitely. Everyone read the book and watch that. All that. It's amazing. But um, where he's trying to get in touch with the fairy, and he spends a long time going insane. And it's only yeah. because you have to be insane in order for this magic to kind of work. So I kind mm-hmm. of like that idea. If you, if you bring that towards that and um, the whole idea of that, is it magic or is it mental illness? So, you know, in the kind of less stigmatized mental illness where, you know, you're just kind of, you know, l- l- allowing the control, I suppose, because he's all about control. He wants to control yeah. it, won't yeah. control yeah, it. Yeah, and that's yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Any sure. man saying, don't control it, you know, allow it or whatever words yeah. you use. And it kind of seems to be that within that kind of conjunction, uh, 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 is where the, the you know the, 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 the kind of a, a case could be made that that's where you know you kind of have to go a bit crazy in order to let yeah, go yeah. of yourself. Well, you're enough. creating what's it called limit 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 liminal space. space yeah, isn't yeah. It? yeah mm-hmm. you you create that within yourself, and that's yeah. I suppose just Carl Young, he went back yeah. shit or almost yeah, back holding shit, on to the know? table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, I did. I didn't actually pick up on that, but that's good. That's 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 a good way of looking. Did you recognize the doctor's voice? No. It's a river's Oh yeah, well, because then their song, their Kumo? song comes on. Yeah, Kumo. Weezer. Yeah, and it turns yeah. out Weezer's production company that they own, that they're part, they're part. I think they run everything through a production company or something right, like right, that. Right, right, Weezer. Yeah. So it's the first film that they've ever budgeted. Oh made. right, okay, right, cool. That's that's why it looks so shiny and good. I mean, it's it's fucking brilliantly made. Yeah, it's like it's definitely oh. has a, a feel of like a a budget film, but doesn't look like a budget film. You know, it has that kind of arty yeah. fifty grand to spend. Uh, yeah, it does that out. thing where it puts people in the wrong angles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fucking annoying. It's like, ah, oh, Jesus, art school students, yeah. art film, art students, yeah. art film, yeah. students. Yeah. You know, just like student <sighs> film, arty student film. People. Yeah, yeah. Rule of thirds, but like inverting yeah. it. In- I'm yeah, stepping like, away from the microphone. Sorry. Yeah. Um, no, but like I know we've ruined it, but it's it. I I, I liked it. I don't oh, think yeah, you liked I mean, it as much. No, as me. I didn't like the like. Like I mean. I didn't hate it or I didn't dislike it. It was fine. It was good. You know, I it, it was yeah. like um it like say my reaction was it's as I said to you, it's no dark song. But I mean I'm glad I watched it and enjoyed it. Yeah. You know? But it's it's not I wasn't blown away by it, but it's not a terrible film and I you know, I, I wanted to know what happened and I you know, it was gorgeous looking, the locations and I liked the, the yeah. whole magic thing. But it's just you know, the, the, it it's just that kind of thing of that there's nothing in a sense new. It kinda that that yeah. You know, well, it see, just I like, like the same thing. I like the kind of playfulness of it, because dark song for me, I kind of had. Uh, with that, it, it was okay. Well, it's a fucking serious thing if you take yeah, yeah. take on that kind of thing. But for me, it was like I didn't really know what this yeah. um, Abrahamic stuff was. Mm. Um, so it was like, yeah, it's a bit too serious, you know. Yeah, but it, it has a good it has a good wang scene as well, though. It does, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, something yeah. about hand jobs and magic. What the yeah. fuck is going on here? Like, wow, you know? I mean, come on, gnosis, man. <laughs> Synchronicities. Um, Maybe I should have a ham, <laughs> mm, a ham sandwich. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uh, 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 so no, I like this. It was a bit more. It was less serious about it, you know. Yeah, and there's more kind of a, a flow to it. Like there's more like yeah. just, let's you know like the kind of literal. Uh, Myth of the hero, you know, like you just have to go and you have to go out yeah. and you kind of have to see what happens. No, I didn't. And there's loads of that. funny bits in it. Yeah, loads so it's of quite funny. Bits. Yeah, no, it's, quite, it's just, it's just a, no, like just it. a few bits that you kind of go, oh, that that's a scene just to get the plot along, and it's, and it's not like yeah. into the museum and you might go, oh, I found him. Fuck off! No, you didn't. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just dude is come in, but I mean, uh, ultimately he was right. So like, who am I to say? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then uh, I suppose they all just happen to go to the pub. Well, I suppose it's. it's where to follow him I don't know it just it it felt a bit forced in places but that's you know yeah, better, better, better than any are. film I've written you know all I mean? films so. are man they all have yeah. to be forced in some way kind of thing yeah. you know uh, right we'll do the next one yeah what did well, we do what was the name of this one I, I can't remember, remember what it's called but it was about Ian McGilchrist and his, McGilchrist, um, yeah. the, his he's a book called The Master and the Emissary which is a new look, I suppose, or a new kind of take on left brain, right brain and the dichotomy and the split and what it means. And there's a documentary, <clears throat> which I'll, excuse me, <clears throat> coronavirus. Hope you don't get it over uh, Zoom <laughs> for the fourth time at this stage. What a piece of wood. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, it's Canadian TV. This is on, although you can buy it in Vimeo for a tenner or whatever. But if you VPN, it's, you know, it's a free to air Canadian thing. 
Um, it's about an hour and 20 minutes long, something like that. It's, it's good. It's just kind of a, a look through him, his ideas, what other people think about it, which and I loved, including people who disagree with him entirely. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 uh, educated yeah. people who completely disagree, but can have a conversation with each other without it. You know, it, not necessarily. It, it, they're definitely disagreeing, but you know, they're not kind of disparaging or just kind of you know. Yeah, it's, you know, it doesn't have like a pissing contest either. Like. Yeah, you know, like when oh. you, you have Dawkins and someone who doesn't agree with Dawkins, and Dawkins just fucking is Dawkins. You yeah. know, it's not that. Like, I mean, you can have a proper conversation and disagree with people in science. Who would yeah. have thought? <laughs> you know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and still respect the person, you know, the, the, the thing. I suppose Ema Gildchrist, um, that book has been around a long while, but it's a long book, so I never really get into it. And the audio book is unscribed if anyone wants to have a go, but it's 27 hours or something, isn't it? Like something ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, that'll be fun. I will at some stage, but uh, there's the way if you want to get into, you know, what his kind of thing is, there is an RSA, you know, those videos that have the hands drawing the as someone narrates it. Like, um, more, right. I know you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, more kind of saying it for people in case they don't. So it's kind of has a 12 minute breakdown of what he actually thinks the, the whole thing is about. Again, I'll put that in the, in the show description. His basic kind of thing is that we, as a modern society, got interested in the left brain, right brain thing, but got it very wrong. And because we got it wrong, it went out of fashion. And now you're not really allowed to talk about it. But he goes, it's really interesting and much more. Um, it tells us much more about our life and who we are as people that it really shouldn't be kind of relegated to, uh, or you know, kind of pseudoscience kind of thing. And he says that mm. when you see things about how people whose brains have been split, which was a, um, it was a treatment for epilepsy. Yeah, that, that so yeah. The, it was to stop things that how different, huge, yeah. yeah, how massively different the different parts of the brain see the world and how they don't you know when you cut off obviously when you cut the bit where they talk to each other how you know they can't kind of ratify it in the, the way that we normally would in that the one has a very different opinion of something compared to the other and then when you realize that we have that only yeah. you have in some way uh, i don't know we have a like he talks about the bit of the, an awful lot of part of our brain this front bit of our brain the frontal lobe i think i'm writing this is, is to inhibit the right hemisphere, which classically, I suppose, was called like the imagination and language and art and all that. And then your your left brain was more analytical, you know, writing, categorizing kind of thing. So you have like an intuition. I suppose if it, it, classically it would have been the seer and the, and, and the thinker, you know, that that's the way. Yeah. But he says that no uh, intuition comes from both sides, you know, relies on... on and both things, languages, both sides, you can't have it without each, without each other <clears throat> and all of these things. It's just... There's a shift, I suppose, a more kind of thing. And there's a kind of mistake that you could easily do, which I think he points out. What I, I kind of like the idea, though, is that one is kind of the conscious and one is the subconscious in a way. But he says they don't do that because that's not exactly what it is either, because there's a kind of there is that it's not that exact of a dichotomy between yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the two things. It's funny because I was reading uh, Bernardo Catstrup. If that's his name, his new book on Jung, it's unscribed as well. If people want to think, and the whole first chapter explains Jung's notion of what ego consciousness is, what the unconsciousness is, and what the kind of um, collective unconsciousness is. In like, I'm barely able to keep up with it. You know, it's it's one of those that you just, but it was just enough within my grasp that I understood it from him <laughs> saying it. And it's it's really good. You should you should definitely put that on your list. But it kind of explains that kind of. There's a thing where he talks about that um, the way the right brain works is in that it, it kind of, in a sense, is we can't, it doesn't report to us in that the, the left brain is the kind of, I suppose, the voice in the head, the thinking, the categorizing, that type of thing. Whereas you have a thing where the left brain can inform us, but doesn't directly report to us in that you can't, you know, you can't, you can't change it with your volition, you know, your own, own kind of thing. And that's kind of. Well, how Jung sees the the difference between the consciousness. So it's more ego. instinctual, like, yeah, yeah. Again, but Jung has issue with the word instinctual if, as well, yeah, like yeah, he, yeah, yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. But uh, so Gilchrist would kind of say, "Don't look at it that way." But I kind of want to look at it that way because I find it helpful. Or maybe more, more reactive rather than instinctive. Yeah. Well, he's he's saying that. See, I don't want to confuse if we're going into Jung. We'll just talk about Gilchrist. He 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 would he has it saying that. He has the master in the sense of the book, the master and the emissary. 
is the right right brain in that it's the thing and, and the emissary is the thing that obviously goes out into the world and which is our right brain and that we've become very right brained as a society. And he points yeah. to three times in history, in modern Western history, where we have started very balanced and immediately <laughs> went too far <laughs> into the right. And he says, I am in no way uh, thinking that, you know, that making, uh, demonising the right or the, the left brain, excuse me, the, you know, um, we need both. It's just we really need to, uh, you know, have be a bit more conscious uh, of what we're doing with, with the, the right brain. But uh, yeah, fascinating. Absolutely. And some of the, the, the experiments that are done in that uh, documentary where, uh, you know, you, you have people with the, the split brain and how to, you know, to see the world. It's very, it, it, it's, it's a great thing. And I, it explained kind of a thing for me. And again, this is me speaking, not Gilchrist, in that um, the type of person I am and how I say absorb information would be, to me, a very right brain way of thing. Whereas I think some people are very left brained in that, say you read a book and they can tell you, well, the dates are this, you know, he talked about this and there'll be parts of it that, you know, they'll know the exact details of. Well, my kind of way I kind of learn is I, I get the feel of, you know, it kind of moves into a, a kind of a more, I get a, an overall picture or a kind of sense of it or whatever. And I mightn't be great on the details, as you know, as films from 1994 will tell you. <laughs> but in a sense, aren't that, it's not that, it's, I'm not, it's not important to me and uh, I, I need more to understand this than to have yeah, the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could go, remember that bit in the book? And I go, oh, I don't really remember it. But I get, the, I know I have the whole overall picture. Yeah. Where I think, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people, like especially academically, um, you know, or people who are at school who are quite clever and seem to be that, would have been more left-brained in that they remember the dates and the thing, and maybe lack an overall understanding of. It's like you can understand 1916, Easter Rising, the whole thing, and you can have all the dates, you know where they were, and all that, and not understand the process of what was going on at all. Mm. And that seems to be yeah. the two kind of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think his thing is that, like, uh, that because we're so uh, left-brained now, we're becoming kind of emotionless and robotic yeah. in what we do and like there's even a scene where it's like you know like like we're building cities that are in like square patterns and all like yeah yeah that's, yeah that's, we're going a bit far here lads you know yeah. <laughs> like look obviously it makes sense to have cities on a grid but like have you ever been in one no we don't have them in Ireland well like, I've, I've, been I've been in, in New like, York I've been in New York yeah so have you they're yeah. fucking boring like yeah, I, yeah. I haven't but I've only ever been in like large building estates which are built in grids and it's just like this is this is boring why would yeah. you live here it's terrible there's no bends <laughs> there's no so bends and and no it, it echoes the classroom too doesn't it like where everyone's in, in the same yeah. kind of nothing I suppose uh, it's, there's no there's no ahead, squares and there's no perfect circles in nature it's a thing uh, humans do like yeah. as Alan Watts says uh, the universe is wiggly we just like to put everything in a box you know that we if we were designing a tree it would be very you know right angled there would be perfect yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. things it's something yeah. that that he would say is a, is a left brain phenomenon that we're trying down, to categorise it. Hard on a, it comes down fairly hard on the political wokeness, yeah, gender yeah. politics. He does, yeah. We're not going to get into it because no. there's no, no point in annoying people. Yeah. Uh, watch it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But it's not about annoying. It, it's, I think it's just saying uh, this is happening now because uh, of our left brainness, because yeah. we've allowed our left brain to kind of. I mm, have to choose my words very carefully. Um, <laughs> it's predominant, that I suppose. Is, is, yeah. 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 Thanks, Sid, yeah. my master, again, <laughs> as usual, Tommy. Um, but but uh, something else. What's his name? The is a, what the, a vicar? He's not a vicar. He's the uh, Archbishop of Canterbury. What well, what's his title? Former Archbishop, isn't the it? Former That's Archbishop. Title, then. Yeah. Yeah. Rowan. He's fucking cool, man. He's, yeah. He's, he's really he cool. Good, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen clips of him before, yeah. Of him yeah. Over the years, he's just a cool dude, you know. And um, he comes on about um, uh, uh, talking about regulating behaviour and all that kind of stuff. And you can see this stuff happening in like the way that China has these social points yeah, yeah. thing going on because we've gone and uh, we've gone too far because of like I, I suppose I suppose the blame has to go with the Enlightenment and the scientific revolution. Like we've yeah, gone absolutely. too far into we've rationality. Gone too far in, yeah, yeah, we've gone too far into logic and rationality yeah. and we've kind of, we're not putting our feelings into stuff anymore. Yeah. We should kind of bring them back. And uh, yeah, and that whole peace. thing of that not to trust yourself and, uh, you know, that uh, we've even to the point where we're told our memories aren't real, our beliefs aren't real, our, um, 
you know, feelings aren't real. You can't trust the human. You can only trust, uh, you know, how it looks. I think it's in that documentary goes, um, a doctor's talking about um, the thing that's on the chart is deemed as more real than the patient in the bed. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, it's like, that's where we're at. I don't know if it's in the documentary or one of his other things where he's just going that it's what the data is to be considered better than, you know, actually talking to the patient themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, like, mm. I mean, like, if you think about that logically, which is what we're supposed to be doing if yeah. we're all right-brained, or, sorry, left-brained, yeah. then that's complete nonsense. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the thing of, of if you <laughs> no. take logic to its final conclusion, it shows you the limit of logic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 But, like, but we don't, and no. we don't see that, which no. is a ma- obviously a massive... Fucking failing because like well it's not a feeling like, in the sense of in the sense of that's what the left brain does oh yeah yeah that's what it is I suppose yeah it's yeah. not a feeling that that's yeah. what it's that's, that's what, what it's it does to do. but like yeah. if you have a patient in the bed and the chart is showing nothing but the patient's like I'm in horrific pain here I need help yeah yeah and the doctor's like yeah no you're not yeah, <laughs> do you know that that? Who, yeah. Who, does, who does that help you know yeah. what I mean <laughs> so um yeah it's it's like I I I I, I kind I I knew a bit about this fellow before. Most of it was I'd seen a couple of interviews with him, like TED Talky kind of stuff, and obviously Uber Boyo talks about him a lot, yeah, as well. And he uh, Uber Boyo has, a, has a, a, sometimes talks more classically about left brain, right brain than Gilchrist does, but I know he does. He mentions them, so I Do know, know he's read them. Do you know what? Yeah. yeah, I, I, I had, I had that as well. But either, either he's changed his mind on it, or because I've, I've watched a couple of fairly recent videos where he's saying. I'm only going to do this left brain, right brain to make it easy to explain. So right, I think he does okay. know right. all of it, yeah. but it's just to explain it in the videos and make it easier for, for, for people to get, you know? Because, yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, it's just fascinating to think that, like, oh, that's mad. That's why the world is the way it is. Yeah, it's not because yeah. of, like, politics is terrible or poverty is this or climate change is that or da-da-da. It's that, like, we're using our brains the wrong way. Like it's, it's well, a well, simple we're using, idea. Our, using our brains the right way, right way, just not the full brain or the full. Yeah, kind okay, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of yeah. like he's, he says that the, the the well, not in the correct way. Can I say well, that? Well, yeah, well, well, in the holistic way. Okay, that's it. Um, because it's there's he he wouldn't put a judgment on it in that way. He wouldn't say that to be the right brain is better than the left brain. It's just that they're not in balance. You know, you have you need yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to unify them. Yeah, and you can't. He says if you don't have both, then it's you know it's a disaster. But it's kind of like um, oh, I had a point there. Now it's gone completely gone. Um, left brain, right brain, gone. <laughs> what was I going to say? It was kind of um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 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 left brain, the only way it problem solves, you know, how it problem solves kind of ends up in a trap so like if you, the pursuit of happiness leads to resentment you know because it, that we're trying to solve the happiness thing by ticking off boxes and you yeah. know oh, we need all these kind of things and so you, you kind of the problem solving of let's have more freedom oh but you know the, the left brain says well, how do we do that well we regulate it and you go oh <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> yeah. so that you end up sense. the pursuit of freedom <laughs> ends up from a left brain point of view with more regulation because you're trying to yeah, regulate yeah, yeah. them it's like Monica and exactly. friends you know let's organise the fun <laughs> you know <laughs> because yeah, it's, yeah. it's that kind of a thing but uh, yeah so that that's I, I find that whether or not it's true it definitely is a good um, map or it's a good kind of paradigm that explains yeah. an awful well, there's a lot. good one he meets he meets um, I don't remember his name he's the Turkish named doctor anyway he's living in England I think and he's like his objection to McGilchrist was that I think you're going too quickly with what you're saying. Um, because he's like, well, he thinks that McGilchrist has taken a, a step too far, one step too far. He's yeah. missing the link between what he's saying and, 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 and kind of where he believes we are. But he's, and he says that, like, you know, in 30 years' time, your book is either going to be the Bible of neuroscience I've or forgotten. totally forgotten about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a yeah. great line. It's just and no, it's, and nowhere, nowhere in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. But, but like, there's so much that kind of stuff that is like that. You yeah, know, like if you yeah. read a research paper from 30 years ago, you could be like, ha, what an idiot. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, yeah, he was at, at the, the top of his top of his game at the time kind of thing, you know. And um, I, I take then that McGillicris' solution, well, it is what it is, is that he goes off and meets these uh, First Nation people in Canada, I believe. And he has this thing about it's very kind of neo neoplatonic, is the the way I saw it anyway. Now that we're all but, neoplatonists, um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, that the 
everything everything's alive and everything's connected you know what I mean and the so animism Gilchrist, thing yeah 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 and so McGilchrist McGilchrist solution seems even though he never comes out and says it that this is what he, he, he thinks we need to do but it's fairly obvious that he's hinting at that we just need this balance and uh, connectedness we need to bring that back with, with nature uh, and with ourselves so that we can kind of see our place in it and how everything is connected and works together rather than just trying to put everything into a box and like you say like the pursuit of happiness becomes ticking off boxes which fucking doesn't lead anywhere no oh, well it, it leads to the opposite of what you desire to resentment yeah. and not being happy Um, he's ultimately he's, he's an interview I don't know who it's with it's either Tim Freak or I've watched a lot of him recently um, over the last couple of weeks where he's asked about, well what do you think is the solution and he, he's like um, I'm not I, I'm not hopeful that we can change this without some sort of massive upheaval but I'm optimistic. He's just yeah. like this kind of. I think, I think he feels that we're a bit too entrenched in where we are. That unless something big happens, that there, you know, there's not going to be enough momentum or justification to um, change it. But you know, that I, I, that that interview is uh, just uh, before the pandemic. So uh, um, maybe there's stuff in what happened with us. Uh, in over the last year, and it might in some way change, but it, it doesn't seem <laughs> it doesn't seem to be noticeable. But there is one thing with it is is the, uh, the, there's the, uh, more of a sway. At least I've started seeing it. To there was the whole sway to wokeness, and there seems to be a definite sway now to anti wokeness that people are starting to go a bit the 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 other way and kind of seeing that as usual when you you know the thing that you're trying to fight in some way you end up being the, the same thing yeah. you know yeah, and yeah, and yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and that's not that's not the tower everyone I mean I know woke people who are awesome and I know people who are woke who are not awesome and same on anything but um, given what climate change to say that we have seven and a half years to eleven years to before we can't get out of this and um, you know I, 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 I think we can do it you know we, we, we remember the ozone low <laughs> we, we solved it we did it uh, I think yeah. you're saying that in two years there's the, you would never notice that there was any damage to the ozone layer at this point. Yeah. So yeah, so I mean I can understand why he would think that would, there would be need for a huge upheaval or something, you know. But I, I, it's only f- rare in humans' history that you have a, you know, a huge significant thing that changes everything overnight. Most of the change is gradual. No, that's how evolution works in a very gradual, yeah. slow kind of way. But I think just the, yeah, the kind of thing is I, that I we're running really out of time. I can't see the Yanks going to war with the Chinese over environmental issues. No. Do you know? Yeah. No, yeah. Not, yeah. not really. You know, that'll be a power grab yeah. over the Pacific Ocean, hopefully, and it won't touch Europe, I hope. Um, I'm not fucking getting involved in that shit. Like, you know, no. You know? <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, so it's interesting. <laughs> I mean, like, that's, that's like watching, like, that's like watching, I don't know. West Brom versus Fulham and you're like Jesus can we not have a match where both the teams fucking lose you know? <laughs> yeah. God one of these has to win it's like ah yeah. God almighty but ultimately no one wins <laughs> <laughs> ultimately no one but he's like he, he, he's like he's like your man Thomas Berry that I've spoken about before uh, in his views then do you know that like he's like like, like we can, we can fix this. Like, we yeah, have, we can fix. Yeah, we can, we can fix this. We just need to get our get our shit together. It's and like John Higgs's book, the positive, or the optimist guide to the future. Whatever, the, what happens next? He's 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 at the end. He's kind of going, yeah, I think, you know, it's not looking good, right? But it's not as if we don't have solutions to these things. It's yeah. just we don't want to do them, and so that yeah. that's kind of is more optimistic. We can fix this. We just have to yeah. decide we want to fix it. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's gonna take public opinion changing public opinion changing stuff but like I, I don't know how to do it I have no idea like I mean I want to live as well as I can with nature and I plant me trees every year me flowers and I try and grow a bit of food and I recycle and I do my best but like then you're like you know you, you just like watch like a scene on American telly and you see like these throngs of people walking the streets of New York and you're just like pointless you know mm. what I mean, they're just walking and creating pollution. <laughs> and like uh, most of the you pollution know? is coming from China, you know. Like and go, but we can't have you know plastic straws because you know. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. How about you know it's, stop uh... dumping oil into the ocean? <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> whatever is the latest thing. But, but look, I mean, if 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 everyone wants to take spirituality, awakening, enlightenment more 
seriously, then they would all realize that materialism is a complete waste of fucking time. You know, but the, the problem like, is that most people who are in spirituality think this is all an illusion. And so why, you know, that it's not something that's. Oh, in a sense that that whole spirit, not most people in spirituality, a lot of people in spirituality have this, that it's an illusion and therefore, you know, it's meant to be or there's nothing you can do about it. You know, don't concern yourself with the world. Uh, and I think that's, you know, that you're up against that. And then you have the other side of people who don't believe that climate change is yeah. happening. And then you have people who do believe it's a thing, but want to make the money anyway. Yeah. Or I, do you know what? I think the only, the only, like the only thing that I, I can do, I think, is just try and lead by example and just be as good as you can to your community and your neighborhood and your nature. Yeah. And your, Tend to the power to the garden you can reach. That That's literally all we can do, you know. Yeah, and, and yeah. it is like, yes. Yeah. And that, but that shouldn't be depressing. It kind of no. sounds like it is, yeah. but it shouldn't be. Just well, it, it's not depressing. It sounds defeatist that you're going to, well, I'm going to look after my people while the world falls apart. <laughs> but I mean, no, if, if but... all of us look after the power to the garden that we can tend to, yeah. then, you know, that's... that's yeah, but it wouldn't even take all of us. You no. know what I mean? How many people do you have in a house? Three, four. If one of you do it, it's grand. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? So all we need is half, third of the planet. That's yeah. all we need. And no, you can, yeah, see things like, you know, when the <laughs> random noting thing where to say and bring a plastic bag and clean up some rubbish, you know, yeah. little things like that. That kind of got sidelined here because of the pandemic, because you can't touch, you know, you don't want to, no one wants to be touching other people's beer cans. But you started seeing people cleaning up rubbish again now over the last couple of weeks and stuff. Yeah. So, um, of course, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to like, so that, that's a thing I can do. I can put on a pair of gloves and I can go out and lift the beer cans from where, you know, the teenagers have their great crack yeah. the weekend. Um kids Ooh. i would but polish people aren't scumbags they don't litter <laughs> well, you see the, the, the problem the problem here is that um rather than say let's put a bin beside where people you know drink their cans at the weekend go we're not putting a bin because that'll encourage them all right so let's just let them <laughs> throw their cans all over the place and, yeah you know, irish, log so. irish logic yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like so literally you put a bin everyone has a bit of crack at the weekend and no one has to tidy up no 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 one's allowed to have any fun no <laughs> Ireland, brilliant. Yeah. John Cleese is in the film as well. He says yeah. it says something like a sense of sense of humor is a sense of proportion. I like that. I had never heard that before. Yeah. And I thought that was great. He's um, he seems no, fairly just, uh, on the ball. John Cleese. He's, 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 yeah, I like John Cleese. Yeah. He's fucking smart lad, you know. Yeah. He's really good at pissing off Irish people, and I really like that. About him. <laughs> he really yeah, yeah. knows how to push yeah. Irish people's buttons, and he does it on purpose, and he doesn't give a shite. No. You know. <laughs> it's yeah, hilarious. I mean, like, Jesus Christ! Can you imagine that uh, John Cleese having a career where he give a shite? Like it's a very different career. <laughs> No, he's he's a class act. See, they're trying to, to cancel uh, O'Reilly from Faulty Towers because it's it's a uh, <laughs> bad representation of Irish people. It's like no, it's really funny. Come on, stop. It's um, yeah, it's it's a really interesting documentary, and I've I've watched a couple other things of him as well, and it's and he's it's lovely. He's a like, lovely man as well. He's, like he's class, like, yeah. and but like you almost have to slow down the the instead of speeding things up to yeah, one yeah. and a half. Yeah. So you want to listen to more during the day. You kind of have to slow it down because like he just. There's so much information comes out of him, yeah. and it's just oh my god, you're ridiculously intelligent, and I've I barely know what you're talking about. You know, it's <laughs> you're trying to keep up with him, keep it up, yeah. Just going, like, he's so smart, and uh, he seems, I, uh, God, I desperately hope he's right. I mean, I think it feels like he's right. It feels, it does yeah. feel like, yeah. it. and that's uh, that's but, all like, right for me right now. Yeah, that's all right yeah, for me right now. Whether he is or not, we'll 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 find out because against the same, even if he isn't, I think it's a good model. That they explains and it's a usable model and it's way it's like looking at the elements that we've done before and go well are, are, am i you know have i doing enough in different areas you know it, it's kind of mm. can split it in that kind of way or um am i having a balanced kind of view of these things or you know uh, of the world or whatever you see on his uh youtube he does he reads poetry every day which is quite <laughs> nice yeah yeah only like two or oh, three lovely. minutes um videos for the yeah, guys no, <laughs> class yeah. Yeah. i must look that up um yeah, it's great, but it's. I mean, it's 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 also comforting to know that like the other eleven voices in my head, they aren't trying to actually kill me. It's just part of me. And you should I definitely should read that um, Bernardo Ketchup, whatever his name is, Ketchup, Bernardo Ketchup's book, um, the young one, because it totally explains all the first three chapters. I, I like I get um, Jung's understanding yeah. of what the consciousness, unconscious, and I yeah. think it's in the meta conscious and all this. But it, that whole thing you're talking about the voices in your head, in that the uh, unconscious. Um, while it doesn't report to us, so we can't, you know, in the way a blindsided person who is someone who can't see because they're, they're, yeah. they're damaged. But if you throw something at them, will react. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's just not 
their eyes just aren't reporting to your conscious. So the unconscious <laughs> is not reporting, but can influence the conscious. Yeah. But also has possibly, he says, there's a chance that it has its own uh, almost ego to it. So it has yeah. like things. It's not a second personality. It's not the thing where he's talking about personality one part two, but it gets into kind of a kind of a, a, an idea of like not quite diamonds either, but that has an agency in itself. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. is very cool. And then well, that's like a man that the Rob. That's like the Rob. The Robert Johnson's book. He's like, yeah. When when you kind of go into your, uh, so you're feeling sad. So you investigate why you're feeling sad, and you pull back the layers, and eventually mm. you just you say right, you name it, and you say John. Yeah, what's going on here? Why do we have a problem? And he says you can use active imagination to do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I suppose it's something like that as well. It is, yeah. Right, but I think I think Young. Oh, sorry, you have to go. But I think Young's just is saying that um, the reason why the difference between the conscious and unconscious is that you can have uh, you can have a sense of it where you can't. What's in the unconscious, you can only kind of get yeah. a sense of what it's doing to you. So anyway, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's totally it, changed. I remember. I remember saying to you ages ago, months ago, I was like. You know, there's the possibility that, like, you know, Young might be wrong. It's like, no, yeah. I do not believe that now at all. Like, he's like, no, no yeah, yeah. fucking way. Well, like, he might he might be wrong on some things, but he's not wrong on a lot of it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so. I mean, like, I wouldn't go to him for advice on how to carve St. Michael in a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you, you, you might you might really have, good, you know, the same taste in <laughs> um, food as uh, as I have. Or, uh, <laughs> maybe he likes a different football team than you. I mean, like, he's, he's, not, he's not the Messiah. <laughs> uh, Despite what he sees yeah, an eye on. Find out he's a Man United fan. You're like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> friends with you. Right, go on, good luck. Bye, right, everybody. Bye.